Welcome to Waifu Wars. This is a brand new game show. Uh, you might know me from uh, the game show that's hosted at Otaku Song called Anime Speed Tune. I hosted that in uh, 2015, 2017, and 2019. Seems like I hosted every other year. I'm very fortunate to host events that Otakuthon because they have a wonderful contest staff, a wonderful staff overall, but especially the contest staff. Their contest programming track is so jam packed with uh, really cool contests and events and game shows. And you know, there's there's double the fun because half of them are in English and half of them are in French. And uh, there's a lot of competition for those final few spots. And it's very fortunate for me to host anime speed tune at Otakuthon and hopefully I'll be able to host it there for many more years to come. Here's what's going to happen. There's going to be three games. Each game is 30 minutes long. We're going to have four players for each game and they have to predict how the audience is going to answer. So even I don't know, you know, anime knowledge, it, it matters to some degree because you have to know what people like and what people don't like. So we're going to choose your favorite uh, waifu. There's also a few husband no pose. Uh, I'm just going to start off with a disclaimer because this is a sensitive topic in the age of cancel culture. Um, remember that all of the characters in these poses are fictional and we do not condone the objectification of real people in, in you know, a type of ownership manner, such as a waifu. Okay? Remember... This isn't real. This is nonfiction. That's all I'm going to have to say about that. And hopefully that disclaimer is enough. Please do not complain about this event. The feedback panel is already over. So even if you wanted to complain, you can't. Well, okay, you can't, but whatever. We're about to begin the first poll. Uh, we're going to switch to the main screen. All right. So um, game one is sponsored by uh, Sekai Project. The winner of this game will get a digital code for to uh, Clanad HD. Uh, Clanad is one of the most acclaimed visual novels of all time by Key Visual Arts. If you want more information, visit the exhibition hall if it's still open, or go to their link. Before we um, put up the poll, we're going to put up a little bit of video introducing the girls of the first poll. So the first poll is going to be for a specific show and it's one that's airing right now it's going to be re zero take a look so i'm going to go over the video all right so first up we've got beatrice uh she's um uh you know she's you know she takes care of the library and she's her first a role of choice like that so you know uh she's got sassy sassy personality second girl we've got amelia so if you're on team amelia well she's one of the choices right here awesome okay and look at how beautiful she looks that's the second girl and the third zero girl is ram so ram or um a little bit colder towards subaru but uh you know, uh, she plays. She plays. She plays a key role in the show. And of course, the the fourth girl. We're not. We weren't going to forget about her. Is Rem. So this is really going to be a race between Amelia and Rem, I think. But who knows? All right. So now that you know who the girls are, I'm just going to let this run because now you know who the girls are. We are going to go back to the main screen and. All right, it is now voting time. The poll should pop up in the lower right corner of the window and polling will be open for two minutes. It might not open for another 20 seconds because of the lag time. You will need a Google account in order to vote, in order to prevent vote stuffing. So as long as you have a Google account, just log in right now if you haven't, and then um, you'll be able to vote on every poll from now on, all right? Okay, I am going to close the poll. So I am going to stop. And I'm going to stop accepting responses. Okay, we had 77 votes at the end. Players, you ready for the question? Here's the question that you need to send me. Which of these waifus plays second? And that's for two points. And then you have to tell me how many votes did second place get? And that is going to be a lot tougher. So uh, you get more points the closer you are. Please private message me your guesses. 
players, uh, you have about a minute to do so, and I'll poke you if you haven't. Key in your answers. Okay, so we got everyone's responses in. Let's go. Okay, so here we go. Who got second? How many votes did second get? We have every, three of them chose Amelia, and I told you we had 77 votes. So Mercado, 30, 20, 35, and 27. Are you ready for the results? I know I'm ready for the results. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so there's the results. Amelia it got second, obviously. So what's going to happen is that's two points for those these these three people. So how many votes did uh, Amelia get? Twenty-five. All right. So Mary Cato and Tam were within five. And Overmath was within 10. So Mary Kyle gets another two points. Tam Hister gets another two points. And uh, uh, Overmath gets one point for being within 10. And Breeling King was within two. So he gets two points. So after the first poll, four, four, three, two. So that's how the game is played. So it's time for the second poll. You ready for the video? All right. So this one's a genre poll. Let's... Let's see what we've got. Uh, okay, so we've got we've got Mecca here. So the first one is uh, Asuka from Evangelion. Um, probably one of the more popular girls of the bunch. I know a lot of people like me, Sato, but I can only choose one girl. Like, uh, she's the most popular on the list of male. Next, we've got C2 from Code Geass. Okay, so C2 from Code Geass. All right, and third, uh, third girl's coming up here. We've got uh, Inori from Guilty Crown. Okay, uh, yeah, I know a lot of people hated the ending for that, but hey, uh, a lot of people like the show. It, it started off well, and last one is Zero Two from Darling in the Franks, and again, kind of marred by by a questionable ending, some people didn't like the ending, but hey, those are the four choices for the mecha genre. All right, so we're done with that. We're gonna go here, we're gonna switch over, and polling is now open for two minutes. Go ahead, that's enough. All right, 91 votes, uh, polling is now closed. We are going to go to the question here. All right, the prediction. Which of these waifus placed first and how many votes did first get? Players, PM me your answers. And oh yeah, I have to give you the final vote count. The final vote count was 92, 92 votes total. So use that as your information. All the answers are locked in. Let's go to the results. All right. So they all think zero to one, and but their um, vote counts are wildly different. Are you ready? Three, two, one, bing! And oh, it looks like C no C two got first with thirty two votes, and zero two was second with thirty. So for the first question, nobody gets any points because nobody chose C two. Mary Cotto, you are way off. You don't get any points this round. Tam Hister, you're within 10, so you get one, you get one point. Um, you get one point. Uh, let's see, your Overmath, you were within 10, so you get one point. And you're a little bit way off. You don't get any points either. So C2 was the winner, pulling off an upset over, uh, over 0-2. Okay. Let's go on to the next poll, shall we? This next poll is also a genre poll, Supernatural. Watch the video. So we've got Itagi from the Monogatari series. That's a very popular white food choice out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. And this show has way too many episodes, over 100. We've got Kuri Sumakise from Steins Gate, the adorable character. Uh, very, it's, I believe Steins Gate is the number two rated show of all time, so if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Yeah. 
And the number three, we've got good old Saber from the Fate series. Okay, and she's been in way too many, way too many specific Fate shows like Zero, even Carnival Phantasm, the spin-offs, things like that. Uh, so Saber is her third choice, and the fourth choice is going to be uh, Yuno from uh, Future Diary. Yeah, so the Yonder action. Okay, this one's tough. The supernatural genre. And um, staff, please put up the poll now because of the lag time. Just put it up now. And all right, so the poll should be up. Let's go to the poll. And there we go. Polling open for two minutes. Let's vote. Polling is now closed. We have 97 votes. Okay, so let's go on to the questions. So this one's different. You have to order the waifus in order from first to last. So that's yeah, that, that's four names. So you can get if you have one point for getting one of them to ordering one right, three points for ordering two correct, and you can't get three correct because if you get three correct, well then you can get four correct, and then five points if you get all four correct. And the second question is, how many votes did Saber get specifically? All right. Key in your answers, players. Ty says these, these are all bad waifus. Let's go to the results. Okay, here's what they put in, what they submitted. Let's just get to the results here. Okay, ready, set, go. Bing! Okay, so it looks like Saber was first. So let's go here and, okay. So Saber was first, bing, second place looks like it was Krisu, nobody got that, and third place was Yuno, no, nobody got that, and fourth was Hitagi, oh, so Brilliant King scored two, Saber got 39, so uh, Mary Cotter, we'll do that first. So Mary Cotter and Breland King get one point for that. All right. And Breland King gets three points for getting two correct. Breland King takes the lead. Are these results surprising? Well, that's why we play the game. Okay. And we're going to go on to the last poll for the game. Watch the video. So this one is all Demon Slayer, but there's a catch. We know that Nezuko would get first place if we did this poll, so they're all going to be male. This is the husband though poll. So the first one we're going to get is Inosuke, and he's practicing social distancing by wearing a mask. Uh, second one is Muzan, the uh, the evil villain from the show. Yeah, I don't know. Some people like like the husband those to be evil. Hmm. Okay. Third is, well, it's Tanjiro, he's just a hero of the show. I don't think there's anything much else to say. Um, you know, Kanihara does all the work. Uh, yeah, that's it, main character. You know, it's a, it's a self-insert. And the fourth one is, yeah. <laughs> Zenitsu and the crybaby. And a lot of people dropped the show because of him, but you know, maybe some people like that. Like uh being trolled i don't know okay so those are your four choices we're gonna go back to the main screen here and polling is open for two minutes let's go i'm gonna stop the music and i'm gonna stop the responses oh we got we actually got 97 again great we're gonna go on to the questions right here you're gonna have to order them again but now we have a new question. What's the vote difference between third and fourth place? All right. And remember, we had 97 votes. Players, message me your answers. Okay. The answers have been locked in. Let's go to the results. All right. And the results will pop up in three, two, one, go. Okay. So, the order, it looks like Inosuke was first. And, did anyone get Inosuke? Yes. 
that's correct. Second place looks like it was Tanjiro, and that is correct. And third place was um, Mu Muzan, and fourth place was Zenitsu, which was there like that. The vote difference between third and fourth, let's just take a look at that now, um, which was Muzan and Zenitsu. So 24 minus 14 is 10! For, get, for Marikado and Braylon King getting it right on the nose, wow, congratulations. They're going to get four points for that, okay? And Tam was way off, and uh, Overmath was, was within five. All right, so let's see here. Overmath, Marikado got one correct, ten. Tam Hipster got one correct, six. Overmath got two correct, that's three points, nine, and Breelin King gets one point. Breelin King is the winner with 11 points. Congratulations! All right, Breelin King, stick around. I'll give you your code once the event is over. Thank you all for playing. All right. How did you like that, the first game? Yeah? First game was really good, wasn't it? All right. We're going to get players for the second game now. I'm just going to read the chat because I haven't been able to read the chat here. Let's get this show on the road. Now you are going to be playing. Uh, you are going to be playing for uh, Heart of the Crown plus uh, Heart of the Crown expansion. Yeah, by Jap Anime Games. This is a um, this is a deck building game. It's not collectible, so you get all the cards you need. So you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars playing the game. Find out more by visiting the exhibition hall if it's still open, or go to japanimegames.com. All right, it's time to play the first one. Uh, it's from a show that a lot of people have watched. Let's go. This poet is going to be Konosuba. And first up, we've got Aqua. The, uh, and her followers are from the Coat of Axis, and she's the, um, the useless healer. She's got max stats and everything, but her cap's low, so she's got low intelligent luck. Next off, we have Darkness, and she's the um, ma ma masochistic girl. Uh, likes to be tor likes to be tortured, and and uh, yeah, and and is very inaccurate with her strikes. And of course, we've got Megumin, which is the explosion user. Uh, she can only do explosion once a day, but it's a very powerful blast because she spends all her skill points on it. Alright. And yeah. And we have to throw a fourth in there with either her or this character, Union or Wiz. So Union is also part from um is also from uh, Megumin's clan, the Crimson Demons, but she doesn't she isn't able to make any friends for whatever reason. Okay. So we're done with that. Let's go. Let's go back here. And polling should be open now. Two minutes. All right, that's two minutes. That's two minutes. We have to get going. So it was 85 votes this time. Okay, 85 votes. So now we're gonna go to the questions here. Other than Megumin, who did not get fourth? So there's, there's multiple answers to this, because we all know Megumin's not going to get fourth. And the second question is, how many votes specifically did Union get? So it's only one point for the first question, because there are there are poss multiple possible answers. And two, you know, it's within uh, 10, 5, or exact. All right. PM me your answers. Oh, you didn't hear how many voted? Um, 85. 85 people voted. The responses have been locked in. Let's go to the results. Darkness got fourth. So, HPK, Ignite, Ocean, and Plumeria will get one point from that. And how many votes did Union get? Which is the green number? 19! Ignite, Osu and Plumeria get two points, while HPK and Max Manus get one. That is the end of the first poll. Uh, let's go on to the second poll. All right, and let's play the video. Okay, so we've got distant 
and prideful characters. First off, we've got Mai from Grasco Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. Uh, this was one of the um, one of the better shows of the year last year. Next, we've got <clears throat> Susan Air from Classroom of the Elite. Uh, I did not like the show very much, but hey, a lot of people did because it has a, has a pretty good rating on Mal. All right. And of course, the third one, we've got Yozura from Haganai. Uh, uh, I don't have many friends. Notice that they're all dark haired. All right. They're all dark haired and they got different colors. So it's like a palette swap. And of course, I think you know who's going to be fourth. It's airing right now. It is uh, Yukino from Origa Iru. Um, my teen romantic comedy snafu. So this one's a little bit more themed, you know, it's a different type. It's a type of girl that you have to worry about. Yeah. We're going to go back to the main screen. Poll is going to be up for two minutes. Let's go. All I see is four of the same girl. Maybe I need some other glasses. <laughs> How do I downvote the entire poll? Well, you don't like these shows? You just don't like the character type archetype. The cold... The cold character. Dark haired character. That's time. We have 89 votes there. Alright. Which of these waifus got last place for two points? And the vote difference between first and second is the second question. Alright. Players, you know what to do. The answers are locked in. Let's go. Let's load up the answers. Whoop. Okay. So who got fourth? It was easily Yozura. I mean, it's she got so little votes. There's not even a, there's not even a percentage amount. <laughs> wow. So that's correct and correct for two points. And the vote difference between first and second. Let's see here. So Mai was first with 39, second was Yukino with 27, the difference is 12. HPK got that right on the nose for 4 points. Max Magnus was within uh, within 5, so that's 2 points. Uh, Yukino was within 5, so that's 2 points, 5. And Primaria was within uh, 10, that's a single point. So there you go, HPK got that exact uh, prediction with 12 votes, puts in a tie in first place. Okay, so we're going to go on to the next, oh, uh, oh, I have to go video. Okay, so we've got Battle Shonen right now. Uh, so <laughs> we've got Ezra Scarlet from Fairy Tail here. Yep, that's your first choice here. Okay. That's your, that's waifu number one. Second, we've got Hinata from Naruto. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Plumeria should have an extra point. Okay, I'm going to put that. Uh, third one is Mikasa from Attack on Titan. Yep. Very popular there. And the fourth battle shonen uh, choice is Nami from One Piece. Okay, so uh, this one's for the more filthy casual players out there. Uh, you're gonna have to choose. We're gonna have to choose which uh, which waifu from the casual shows are best. All right, so. Polling should be up now. Two minutes. Let's go. All right, that's two minutes. I'm going to have to end it. We got 94 votes. Polling is done. The question is here. Okay, which of these waifus placed third? And how many votes did Nami get? Players, put in your uh, message in your responses. Let's go. Okay, so the answers are locked in. Let's go to the... Uh, results now. I'm just going to go here. Results. Okay. Different choices for third place. Let's reveal right now. Ding. Okay. So who got third? It looks like Ezra got third. How many votes did Nami get? Nami got last here. So I guess 
the uh, the fan service wasn't enough to convince anyone. Uh, enough people. Seventeen. HPK is gonna get um, one point. Uh, Max Magnus gets two points. Ignite Osu gets two points within one, plus an additional two points for getting Ezra correct. So Ignite Osu is at nine, and looks like Plumeria completely whiffed. Uh, sorry, but it's a very close game right now. I'm, I'm surprised uh, of these results. I didn't think Hinata would get uh, first, but we're going to go on to the very last poll of the game. It's a little bit cool. Let's, let's check it out. So this one, we're going from, to a show last year, Quintessential Quintuplets. There are five girls. And I think you know what's going to happen. This is the first girl, uh, Ichika. She's the uh, sh she's the one who acts the most adult-like, I guess. But um, second one is Nino. Are you on Team Nino? She's the one who's the most um, most against Futaro in the very beginning, but gradually warms up to him over the course of many situations. The third one is Miku. Miku is the uh, the quiet, shy, reserved girl. And there's a lot of people in the church of Miku as well. They, they say she's one of the great, she's, one, she's the best character. Uh, Yotsuba is the fourth girl, okay? And she's the Genki girl and the mo most, most athletic of the five. So, uh, if you want at high energy, great. And Itsuki is the first girl. Uh, well, the first girl that Futaro meets. Um, and uh, sh she is a bit of a glutton. She likes to eat a lot. And really not much else to her about that. Going to go on. Five-way fight. Polling should be open now for two minutes. Let's go. You don't know who... You don't know any of them? Well, then look. Pick the one that looks the best. I don't know. The best part of Waifu Wars is that you don't have to justify your vote. You can vote for whoever you want. No one's gonna rat at you about it. That's time. Alright, we're gonna end it at 85 votes. Let's go on to the questions. Because there's five, only one question. Order them. You get one point for getting one, one in the correct order, three points for two, five points for three and if you manage to order them all in the correct order you get 10 points and that's enough to win the game unless someone else got all five as well go we got this let's see this um let's go to the results here all right so they they put in their order and you can see it right here let's reveal the answers ding Miku with over 50%. That's the that's the first majority we've had. Wow. Okay. So let, let, let's get this going here. So everyone knew Miku would be first. Great. Second looks like it's Yotsuba. And that only one person got that. Third looks like it's Nino. Itsuki is fourth. And then uh, Ichika is last. HBK got only one, so eight. Max Magnus only got one, that's one point, puts him at eight. Ignite also got two for three points, puts him at puts at twelve. To Mary, I got three correct for five points, and it is a two-way tie. Uh-oh. So here's what's gonna happen for the tiebreaker. For the next poll, I'm going to hide the total number of votes. And uh, Ignite, Osteo, and Fumeria, you have to give me the total number of votes for uh, for the next poll, and whoever is closest is the winner. So we'll determine that in game three. Okay, thank you all for playing. It's time to go on to the third game here. All right, so the third game is sponsored by Funimation. Uh, visit the exhibition hall if it's still open. I don't think it is anymore. Or go to Funimation.com and the winner will get a digital code to watch the show How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift. Let's go on to the first video here. Gotta get started. Watch the video. So this show is also from Funimation. It's called Hensky and all the girls have a different fetish. This first girl, Ayano, 
she has a smell fetish. This is why she's smelling him up. And, uh, and that's why she is attracted to him, because she likes his smell. Second one is Mizuha, which is the uh, main character's uh, uh, sister. Now, she's an exhibitionist. She left out a pair of her own panties in order to seduce, um, seduce uh, uh, her brother. Third one is uh, Sayuki. Now, Sayuki is a, um, is a sub. Um, uh, sh she wants, she wants uh, Keiki, the main character, to perform, to uh, be, be, be her master. And the fourth character is Yuika, who is the opposite. She's a dom. So she wants to dominate Keiki and have and own him up. Okay, it's a little more of an obscure show, but it did air last year. So we're going to go on to that. Uh, polling is open for two minutes. Let's go. And it's streaming on Funimation. And remember, I am not revealing the number of votes. Um, uh, the, the two players in first place, please, um, um, please, please join table 17 and, and private message me how many votes you think, uh, uh, total this poll will get. Alright, that's the end, that's two minutes. I am closing the number of responses. So Maria guessed 86, and the other player guessed 92. Let's see what we got. All right, we, we gotta get the we gotta get the questions. I'm sorry. Which of these waifus placed first, and how many votes the first get? Let's go. You okay, Chan? Who got first? All right, sorry, you did not answer on time. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to cut you out there. Let's go to the responses here. Okay, um, this is so uh, with 82, it means that Plumeria wins game two because Plumeria guessed 86. So. Plumeria wins game two. Congratulations. Let's go on to this. Who got first? Sayuki got is the uh, got first here. So, Bing. How many votes did first get? Well, we're gonna find out. Thirty-three, uh, two, um, four, and this is within ten, so one, and that's off. So Yokai Chan is shut up for the round. Let's go on to the next poll. Shall we? And go to video. All right. So this one is uh, Androids. We've got, first off, we've got 18. She's, she's more of a cyborg than an Android, I guess. But, uh, you know, um, if we didn't have her in this poll, everyone would riot. Second goes to Chi from Cho Bits. Uh, uh, quick to learn and quick to adapt and very cute. It's one of the first shows I watched when I got into hardcore anime. Yeah, hardcore being stuff on TV. And uh, uh, Isla from Plastic Memories is the third one. Okay, Isla from Plastic Memories. And a very emotional first episode. And it just gets better from there, I guess. A lot of people liked the show when it came out. And fourth is our troll pick is Alita from the 2019 version of Alita Battle Angel. There's no video because this is owned by Disney and I don't want to be sued. We're not, so it's specifically Alita from the movie because we wanted to troll you here. Okay, so that is the choices you get and voting time, go. Because Alita was an anime from the I don't even know what year it's from. It's like from the 80s or 90s. But we thought that was too ancient, so it's like, no, let's, let's just troll them with a live action pick. Or not live action, but like CG ish. I'm gonna stop the polling at 90 seconds because we have to get going. So I'm gonna stop the poll right now, okay? Let's go on to the questions here. Did 18 get more than 50% of the vote? This is a new one. Did 18 get more than 50% of the vote? Yes or no? And how many votes did the leader get? Because I'm really curious to know. All right, Kashi Flood, not in times. I'm, I'm sorry. We have to keep going here. So, um, Kashi Flood, you're shut out of the round. All right, let's go to the responses here. Results. 
Oh, no, I got Kashi for just in time. We got, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, no fifth, wow, it's the exact same. L let's reveal the answers. Oh, she won the vote. Well, that is interesting. So, these are correct, and how many votes did Alita get? We're going to find out right now, and just go on here. Seven. Yokai Chan's gonna get two points for that. Everyone else is gonna get one. So we're gonna go two, uh, two, uh, five, three, and then and then you get another point for getting the uh, first question correct. So four, six, three. There we go. Next, we gotta get going. This this video has sound. Pay attention. <laughs> You nearly killed me! So? I couldn't breathe! So? I was blind for two hours! You can borrow my glasses if you need to! Fuck off, shoe! I eat dicks like you for breakfast. My panties are always available if you want to view them. Why did we smash? I wanted my first time to be with a dragon dick. Oh yeah, there's a red dragon emperor inside your body trying to get hard. A dragon? What? Oh! Yo, this is garbage. This is the last thing I need in my life, so crazy ass thought. Waltzing in, barking orders like she owned the place. You'll be- Okay, so that was from a number of a bridge series, but uh, it's time to vote. Yeah? <laughs> Alright, polling's up. Let's go. Alright, it's 11.10, we have 5 minutes remaining, I gotta end this poll right now. Um, it's, it's 1 minute, but I, I have to end the poll right now, so if you don't get in, I'm sorry. We, we, had, we had 65 votes. Let's move on, and you're gonna order the waifus for me, and you have to give me the vote difference between 1st and 4th. Note that it's more of a gap, so the, point is, the, the scoring system is different. If you're within 20, it's 1 point. 10, 2, 3, 5, and 6 points for an exact. Alright, the votes are in. Let's go. Votes are in. Let me load up this poll. And let's see the results. 60. Look at that! 69 votes. Good job, everyone. <laughs> okay. Uh, let, let, let's see this order here. So, first we've got Rias. So that's uh, correct. Second, we've got um, 21.7 is M Momo. So that's correct. Oh, we have a. Is that a tie for third? Is that a tie for third? Let's let's hover over this. 14 votes for Kurumi and 14 votes for Chitoge. So, yeah, that works. The uh, vote difference between first and fourth. 26 for Rias and. 14, so the difference is 12. I'm just going to write down, this is a one point, uh, this is one point, uh, this is one point, and this is, uh, this is uh, two points, yeah, one point, one point, one point, two points. Two points for Hikage Kun, three points for Kashi Blood, putting him at nine, three points for Garen, putting him at, oh, putting him at six, putting him at six and this is four point six six nine six six. All right, last poll of the night. Thank you very much for watching. Let's end this. Let's go right now to the very final one. All right, last poll. So we've got the cross dressers. We know this is going to have happen and so on. So first off, we've got Chihiro from Danganronpa. Okay, Chihiro from Danganronpa. And second off, we've got Hideri from Blend S. Surprise! He wants to be an idol to get uh, uh, to get away from the farm. So Hideri from Blend S.
And we've got third, of course, we're going to have a Hideyoshi from Baka and Test. All right, Hide, uh, Hideyoshi from Baka and Test. And the fourth one is going to be a troll pick. It's going to be Joseph from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Because this is how he gets through, this is how he gets through security. Yeah. Okay. So that is your final, the final poll of the night. Has to end with a second husband do poll. And uh, voting is now open. Let's go. Time's up. That's it. We've got to end it. Let's see the final questions of the night. Order them. And no, I didn't tell you how many votes were cast. That's because you got to give me it. And there's a wide variety. If you actually get the exact number, you're going to get eight points. Because we want to get a t game breaker here. It's been a pleasure. And hopefully some of you will come next year to watch uh, Anime Speed 2 next year. Because I don't think I can do this format in a live event. But Wife of Wars has been fun. How do you like that? Everyone's got their votes locked in. Let's see this. Bam. All right. Let's see the results here. Okay. Are you ready? Let's go. Bang! Okay, so it looks like... Oh, Joseph got over half the vote. Okay, so these are correct. Um, second place looks like it's a Hideyoshi. Okay, third place is Kihiro. Oh my goodness! Kashi Blood score got all of them correct! This is when three... This is within six, so it's three points. Uh, this is within 20, so it's one point. And this is within uh, 10, which is two points. So adding this all up, let's see here. Hikage-kun only gets the two points for the vote count. Um, Kashi Flood got, all, got the order entirely correct for four points, plus an additional five points. Putting, that's a that's a record. That puts Kashi Blood at 18 points. And um, Garen gets 4 points for him at 10. And Yokai Chan gets 4 points at 10. So Kashi Blood is your winner with an out, outstanding final round. He knows his cross dressers. Yeah. Wow. That was really nice. Thank you for playing and thank you all for coming. You know, check out my YouTube channel and um, to see more content. Hope you had all of a fun old Have a good night, everyone. Winners at table 18. See ya.